given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe. Hello, welcome to Seek Truth, Speak Truth. This is my channel and you are very welcome here. I am 12 subscribers away from 15k, so please consider hitting that subscribe if you like what you hear. Today I'm going to talk about religion. Ties in quite well uh, with the Flat Earth Movement. A lot of them are religious or certainly claim to be so. That is what actually got me into Flat Earth, was the consideration of creation or certainly part of it. It makes you feel special, like you're the centre of the universe, um, you are the child of God and he is here to protect you, or a God. I personally was never, you know, into the religious stuff as like praying to a God. But I just want to go through actually, because I was shocked when I looked into this, that the world is actually becoming more religious. So we're actually more religious now than than ever, basically. Um, certainly past what is known as the Enlightenment. Maybe before that, more or less everybody would have been religious. But I just want to run through a few facts, give some ideas, some opinions. I'm not a qualified scientist or really qualified to, to speak about theology in any way that these are my opinions, basically. That's all I'm saying. There are some sort of facts here from a 2015 study that I will leave a link in the description to if you did want to sort of go back and double check. But the world is getting more religious. At the minute, Christianity, there is 2.3 billion Christians in the world. That is 31.2% of the population. Muslim, 1.8 billion. Hindu, 1.1 billion. Buddhist, 500 million. Um, and then there's a couple more beneath that, like uh, Sikhism, things like that. That actually correlates to about 83% of the world's entire population that would put themselves under the bracket of, under a religion. And I was thinking, if I was actually asked in this study, what would I have said? Because even way before ever thinking or believing in creation, I'm not sure now. I really am not sure. That's why I'm making this video for opinions. I love opinions. But I would have said I was a Christian, I think, if I was ever asked this. Because I was christened as a child. And I just grew up saying, oh yeah, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. So it does make me sort of wonder, are these numbers a little bit overinflated? Uh, between, say, just saying you're a Christian and then, you know, going to church and praying to a God. There is a big difference between that. So I'd say the numbers are, you know, a little bit lower for highly religious people. But the reason the world is becoming more religious is basically because religious people are more likely to have children. So they will obviously then just as time goes on, their children will be more likely to be religious because they've been brought up in a religious household. I personally don't think that any named God that a human has named exists. So, in my opinion, the Bible, I personally would not look at that as evidence for any type of creation whatsoever. Uh, obviously, years back before the Enlightenment, science was used to try and, in a way, understand the workings of God and nature. And then as time went on, scientists at least came to the conclusion that we can't physically prove a God. So unless I've physically proven something, I cannot believe in it. Which is very close to my status now. I like the idea of it, and I think that's why, you know, everybody likes the idea that, especially once we die, we go to a heaven or a better place. 
that's a big, big pull to a lot of people, including including me. I, I want to believe in it, I do, but there's a part of me now, the sceptic, saying, but it is just a belief, there's no real hard factual evidence of certainly a god. You know, you can say, when I say creation now, I just really think of the Big Bang, I suppose. 13.8 billion years ago, there's a lot of evidence pointing towards, you know, there was basically, I might get this wrong, a singularity. Um, again, though, quantum mechanics, as far as I know, an atom is like way over 99% just empty space so to me now that's that helps me get my head around how this whole universe I heard Brian Cox once say was the size of a grain of sand but I don't know if that's changed or not but I've also heard Brian Cox say you would be naive to say there is no God I just think why are humans so special why are we so special to a God when there are billions and billions of other planets I don't know has a god created the universe to see how things develop but when I say god I mean like an energy or something I'm not sure I'd never think of it as like a, a man in the clouds just standing down looking at everyone um, but the way science is going it seems like to me again you know, I, I, I basically know nothing about quantum mechanics, but from the little things I've heard, um, like the double slit experiment, you know, um, a particle can be in two places at once, and it's crazy. It just bends my mind to shreds. But are scientists working out the the rules of creation? You know, are is our universe all in the size of a snooker ball? Do you know what I mean? Like that scene out of Men in Black. I don't know. How, how do we know? Um, and how will we ever know? These are questions that I just love asking and thinking about. I believe, obviously, religion, like I say, it's a big tie because when, you, when you're kind of dying, um, there have been people that have had, like, experiences where they've come so near to death that they then that, you know they come back basically and say oh I died and there definitely is a heaven I saw the you know the white lights at the end of the corridor but then someone else will say but you know what are hospitals they're usually a long corridor with lots of white lights I think your body releases a sort of chemical when or as you die uh, I think it's compared to or is basically DMT and a lot of people I know of that have done this not personally but you know online they literally say it is like a out of body experience um, could be like heaven you know there's certain things that people always see so there's a lot of sort of science now that can back up the fact that these people's kind of premonitions of like, oh, I saw heaven. It might be the chemical reaction or may well be the chemical reaction that is happening in your body. I remember myself um, years and years ago, I experimented, shall I say, um, with a drug known as ecstasy. And I remember when I took that, I said to a friend, I bet this is what it feels like when you die. It was a euphoria. Um, just an overwhelming feeling of just happiness. And uh, now obviously years, years and years later, I haven't touched anything like that for years. Um, science is saying this, you know, but I kind of just, just happened to just mention it. But, is there a chemical reaction that's happening? Well, there, there, there is, but nobody still knows after that, if you know what I mean. Like, literally, come, you know, people have supposedly come back from dead, but I believe if you're dead, you're dead. You're not, you're not going to come back from, like, actual death. I might be wrong. Someone tell me if I'm wrong, please. 
the main aim of this video is because most flat earthers believe that science has been created to hide a creator when in reality even um, Newton was religious the guy that made up gravity there's a lot of people that tried to tie them together as far as I know like I was saying earlier about 87 percent of um, the world is religious one in three scientists still classes themselves as believing in creation I would say that's still quite a high number so really what I'm saying is because I do hope flat earthers still watch my videos Science isn't against you. Science isn't against looking for answers. If if there's a God or a creator, science would embrace it and then try and explain more around it, if you know what I mean. There seems to be too much confusion between like, oh, it's science versus religion. When in reality, they never started like that and they've deviated along the way. But... I believe they can survive together in the search of truth and that's what I'm here for so that's why I wanted to make this video kind of doing a round circle going back to where I started but last time that path led to me led me to flat earth this time I believe you know I've got a little bit more discernment now onto what is actually worth looking into or worth even talking about. Flat Earth certainly isn't, because it is nonsense. But if you did get to the end of that, thank you very much. Please consider hitting that subscribe, and especially hitting the bell, that is the most important part. But if not, glad you got to the end anyway. Enjoy the rest of your day, and enjoy 2021. All the best to you. Stay safe, and keep it global. Given that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed.